that the proposal that came from the ministry was that all freehold land be, 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 be changed to leasehold in the whole republic. It is parliament, a committee of this parliament, and that's why parliament must be given uh, credit to where they, they do their work, that is suggesting to them that we should maybe do it in cities. But the ministry, what they brought to parliament was that they want even the ancestral land that somebody is holding a free land, freehold in, in, in Migori. They wanted to, to change it to leasehold. For what? She should tell us why, what was informing that, instead of now hiding under why parliament. Dallas, why? The, uh, the, the provision was say, uh, saying that the minister will uh, be able to say, to designate the areas, which then means you designate through regulations. And I would still have had to come to parliament to be allowed the designated areas that we would have picked. So, uh, and, uh, and therefore, the proposal by Parliament, I commend, I think it, it helped and, impro yes, and it, it improved the provision. Uh, thank you, Chair, and I'm sorry I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, you have interrupted, just go on. Uh, <laughs> Chair, uh, <laughs> we are in a, nomina uh, a vetting process, and the leader of majority and the leader of minority have stated the actual position. But the nominee, she's trying to run away from the reality. The reality is that the bill which came to the House exactly wanted to levy even the ancestral land in this country. And it came from the ministry. She was the CS. So instead of using too many words, please admit we move forward. Because at the end of the day, Kenyans could not accept your proposal. And it came from you. It did not come from the, uh, the House of Parliament. Speaker. It did not come from Speaker. Kenyans. It came from your Speaker. office. Yes, sure. yes Alice. Uh, Speaker, I said that uh, uh, the proposal had indicated that the minister we will designate areas where the levy will be. It was not blanket, because it is not possible to collect. Point of order, it is not yeah. possible to collect levies in the order. entire country. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, yes. that, is, uh, that is true. But why do you want to subject a land that is in Bungoma or Migori for a minister who is sitting in Nairobi to designate whether it will be a freehold or a leasehold? Why do you want to do that? Just say it was uh, wrong to do that, and now you are rectifying, you are agreeing with Parliament for, for that issue to become a city's issue. Just sure. and we move on, Madam, Madam C. Uh, you are a former um, member of Parliament here. I think the clarity I have protect. made, I have oh, even given chair. credit to Parliament, but I have said that it is Parliament that was going to give me permission to say where to levy the... Yes. Point of order. Okay. A brief one. Yes. Mr. Yes, uh, Naisula. Thank you, Speaker. And I just want to put it to the nominee. And from what the, minor, the majority leader had said to another nominee here, that one of the challenges of the cabinet that was there before is communication. Because Kenyans are not understanding what you want to do. When they raise questions, it is said to be propaganda. But now we have confirmed here today that it is actually the truth. And so I think moving forward, if you are confirmed, and the last thing also is when there is public participation and Kenyans have an issue with a clause or with a matter in a bill, it should be discussed thoroughly and given the view of those who have who because the bill could be good everything else could be good and we have one contentious issue could we exhaust it because i can assure you after what happened in parliament these parliamentarians will not be a rubber stamp anymore to any issue that will be contentious uh, uh, um, uh, madam uh, nominee so that is all i wanted to do so that we could to say so that we could make progress yeah thank you i would uh, hate a parliament that is a rubber stamp it's of no use to anybody and uh, even themselves but uh, and i agree with you this bill had not even gone to uh, second reading where the debate was going to happen and during debate, the proposals for amendments would obviously, by 
by the house i think the subject was still we'll yeah. make progress yeah. is what mm. the members are telling you yes is that a bill came from your ministry with these contentious proposals to the house when it was picked up and spread like wildfire the ministry maintained a conspiracy of silence instead of coming up to say it was our bill, we withdraw it so that you quell the fire. Yes. You said nothing. But that is, uh, let's move on. Posing? Thank you. Thank you, Spe uh, Speaker. I think there is need for better communication. Yes. I agree with you throughout the entire government, yes. the, including my, the, my former ministry. Yes, Number even Speaker. His yes. Excellency the President has said, lamented, that one of the weaknesses in the government is poor communication. You are doing good things which nobody knows. And when you do bad ones, you don't own up. Uh, speaker. Questions on housing speak. levy. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, speaker. Yeah, to the speaker. He proceeded to the housing levy question. I was asked by Honor Bukoech how many uh, people or youth we have employed under the housing affordable housing uh, levy program. I want to confirm that on our in our records we have about 106,000 youth, both men and women, and I want to add here that they are, most of them are youthful, below 35, and we ensure also that we include women because we have women who have uh, the, the skills and uh, artisan skills, yes. Youth has no gender. It's just youth. Men uh, and women. It's, uh, sometimes when you say uh, a man, it is said it is also a woman, but until you say yeah, it is uh, both male and female, then yes. there is a problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. But uh, I would say the youth, it can be youth, women and youth or youth yes. men. Yes. So we have ensured that uh, gender is also observed in terms of uh, those who are working and benefiting. Is it sustainable? It will be sustainable if we are able to continue with the housing... Uh, affordable housing uh, levy, and uh, I'm aware that uh, it is st also still in court. Would I say that at, up to now we have over 100, we have at least 48,000 housing units that are in different stages of construction between maybe 20% and 95% some nearing completion. In fact, we expect that we will be launching several uh, of those uh, units this year. And so it is uh, sustainable. because it's, This is one of the best projects and programs that the country can allow to continue. Everything else bad said about it, but this one in terms of employment and in terms of uh, self-sustaining, if we can allow the levy to continue, it is sustainable. And I, I bet that uh, the, what we are giving, including allowing housing to people who previously cannot access and afford decent homes, then I would think that the country should take it proceed. and yeah, proceed with it. Uh, I thank you, Honorable Speaker. And uh, if you were to be direct to the question and answer, would say we are almost spending one hour only for leadership of the House. We have not even had anything ourselves. So, Speaker, what is mine? Mine is this. Uh, nominee, uh, Honorable Alice Waome. This issue of house levy or house tax, of course, was very controversial, and it is still controversial. However, because it is in place, it is mainly in urban. <laughs> 